to restate what the affirmative said, they said that um, we lost, we lose $1.2 billion every year just by keeping the embargo. Um, we actually, the embargo doesn't cover every aspect of trade. So we still do, in, we export agricultural goods to Cuba and annually in 2012, we made $346 million. So that sort of offsets the $1.2 billion that we lose every year. Um, another thing that the affirmative said was that, was that Cuba does business with China and other communist countries, but this is because they are in fact communist. There is, um, the U.S. Isn't a, isn't a communist country. The U.S. is a democracy. So when we have the embargo set in place, it's for a reason. Um, so Sebastian Arcos, Associate Director of the Cuban Research Institute, Institute at Florida International University, that he believed that any drastic improvements to the Cuban economy will require opening the country's markets and shifting toward a more democratic society. Now, the affirmatives haven't given you any significant evidence as to the Cuban government being willing to transform into a more democratic society. Um, Sebastian Arco says, the Cubans believe that their control of the economy is as important as their control of the political system. They go together. It's not a matter of the U.S. embargo. It's a matter of domestic policy. The affirmative also said that Cubans will benefit from the lift of the embargo. This, in fact, is not true. Wages, uh, wages are converted into local currency in Cuba and devalued at a ratio of 24 to 1. So a $500 wage becomes a $21 paycheck. A Cuban worker was quoted as saying, in Cuba, it is a great myth that we live off the state as they do in the US. In fact, it's the state that lives off of us. And this testimonial comes from brookings.edu the article, The New Cuban Economy, What Roles for Foreign Investment? And this should show you that no matter what they're talking about, about the government, no matter what the affirmative is talking about, about the government being willing to change, they're only willing to change because they control the state. They control it. They get all the money. They reap the gains and the benefits. They would reap the gains and the benefits from us lifting the embargo, not the Cuban people.